Street Beast family, what's up, y'all? Face with ya. On my way to uh, Neutral Corner, man, get some sparring in. First of all, I want to shout out all of uh, all of our members, man, all our supporters. I say this all the time. Street Beef's got the best fans on earth, period. Not even debatable, you know. Some of you have, have supported us for the whole 17 years we've been doing this, all right? Don't, you know, I don't get no more loyal than that. But I want to see. I want to speak on something real quick. I used to be real bad about reacting to comments, and you know, I read a lot of the comments. And uh, mainly, I used to get pissed off when people disrespected our fighters. You know, that that was the big thing that bothered me. And the main reason was because I know that a lot of our fighters are good dudes who are just trying to come out and, and you know, get a good fight in and, and have the experience of fighting in the yard. So it pissed me off when people would dog them and drag them, okay? But I've done a good job of learning to ignore it, not react to it as much, etc. But I'm going to tell you something, okay? Every once in a while, I read a comment that I have no choice but to reply to that is just so stupid, so ignorant that I got to reply to it. And uh, I read one of those today that just, it, it boggled my mind, mainly because it's people talking about shit that they know nothing about, okay? My bad, I'm waiting on my wife to catch up. So, this dork comes on to the tracks. The, the, the Tracks NYC beat video. And he says, man, this guy, speaking about me, walking back and forth like he's he really cares and he's trying to solve this dispute. Stop that bullshit. We just want to see fights. Now, let me let y'all know. First of all, I care more about these beefs than probably anybody you've ever met. And I got a reason for it. And this is what I'll say to you. If you don't know the origin of Street Beefs, go watch our New York Times documentary. Just on YouTube, type in Guns to Gloves. Type in Guns to Gloves on the New York Times on YouTube. And that's our, you'll see our documentary, okay? We've been doing this for years, and I started Street Beefs because a good friend of mine got murdered, okay? He got murdered over a petty dispute. This is all in the documentary. You, you can go look it up. <clears throat> a good friend of mine got murdered on Christmas Eve over a petty dispute. Petty. Okay? And he was shot to death in front of his son on Christmas Eve. Okay? However, in your life, tell me I don't care about these disputes because I'm going to tell you something I've seen men killed over bullshit over bullshit I've seen dudes no, no, no lie right now I've seen a dude killed over five dollars no shit long story short they were in, in a convenience store together the one guy was short on money. He said, yo, give me $5. I'll give it back in a minute. Well, dude never gave the $5 back. Okay. They started arguing over that $5. And dude pulled out a knife and stabbed his homie to death. Okay. Stabbed him to death. And I'm going to tell you, there's been all kinds of petty disputes like that that ended in people dying. All right. And I don't like seeing it. With street beefs, I had another friend. This is a well-known st uh, story in my area. I had a friend who got in a fight. This was over $26. Now, they were young kids, but they still, it was over 26 bucks. This is back when I was, uh, I think, 20 years old. They get in a fight. He goes out to meet the dude first. And the dude's like, I'm not paying you, F you, blah, blah, blah. So they start fighting. 
Well, my homeboy gets on top of the other boy and is whooping him. The other boy pulls out a knife, stabs my homie in the leg. No biggie, right? Except he stabbed him in his femoral artery. My friend immediately gets up and says, I think my leg's broke. He didn't know he had been stabbed. He staggered back to his car, got in. His girl tried to rush him to the hospital. He bled to death within five minutes. $26. Don't fucking tell me that I don't care about these disputes. I've lost real friends over bullshit. And if you say, well, face these are petty, goofy disputes. Well, you know, they're not a big deal. Did you not just hear me say people died over $5 and $26? Humans have killed people over some of the stupidest shit on earth. It don't matter how goofy a dispute is. If both men are angry, there's potential for mayhem. I feel like, honestly, I wish... I swear to y'all, I wish there was a way I could require people to watch our New York Times piece before subscribing to this channel. Because that's why I get so mad when people get on and bitch about the outcomes of fights and so on and so forth, because it was never about belts. It was never about your record in the yard. Even now, when people are fighting just sporting fights, it's still about the brotherhood about people staying off the streets, about having something positive to participate in. It's not about your ego. It's not. And it's not about whether the people watching feel like this is ran like the UFC. I cannot count the times that people have came on, this is ran unprofessionally. You don't fucking say a backyard fight club with volunteer refs and volunteer judges isn't professional. You're shitting me. People have lost sight of what it is we do and why it is we do it. And I just urge everybody that takes the time to watch this. Because there's a lot that won't. They claim they love street beefs, but they don't watch these updates. They don't pay attention to anything that's said. They just they don't love street beefs. They love fighting. Okay? Which is fine. If you just love fighting, fine. But don't claim you love street beefs, because street beefs is more than fighting, okay? But to those of you that do love street beefs, go watch. Just go on YouTube and type in Guns to Gloves, and you'll see a little bit about what we're really about. Appreciate all y'all that support us, man. Another big event coming up soon. We love y'all. Questions, comments, leave them below. Peace.